We're going to look at exporting audio in Sonar, which is nothing more than a mix down. This song I have open here will do as an example. I have several audio tracks and a couple of MIDI tracks. The idea of a mix down is just to take all these tracks and turn them into one stereo file. Let's have a listen. Now I hear all the tracks playing. If this was going onto a cassette, I'd simply pop a new tape into the machine and hit record and let it run. But things are different now. To make a CD or an MP3, we need to mix these down into one stereo file. The exporting process is very simple, and since the organ track is played on a virtual synthesizer, it will be included in the mix. But one of my MIDI tracks is playing back on my piano, and needs to first be recorded into audio. With software synthesizers, you can simply render them. But for this, I have to actually record it in real time. I'll solo the MIDI track and arm an audio track for recording. My piano is already plugged into my mixing board, so it's easy to send the signal from there. For you, you might have to actually unplug some wires and plug things in different to make your MIDI feed back into the computer. Once this piano line is recorded, it will be included when I make a mix down. And with these newer versions of Sonar, I don't have to render the software synths or freeze them either. The mix down does all that for me. So now that that's done, I simply need to select all the parts. It's going to be difficult to get them this way, but I'll go to select all. I want to show you where that is, but I'd normally use the keyboard shortcut, Control A. So once all the parts are selected, we can go to File, Export, Audio. I'm going to export this as a WAV file, and I want it to include all the settings that I've made in the program, so that the volume of each track and the effects and so on will all be included. I'll save that on my computer, and now I want to open that file up so that you can see what that looks like. Here I've opened it in Sony SoundForge. This is a great program for doing your final mastering. It's a good chance to get rid of the silence at the beginning of the song. When I hit play, I don't want to wait three seconds before the music starts. I'd also go to the end of the song where I could apply a fade out, or at least trim the silence away from there too. Another step I always take in this program is to normalize. When you normalize, it means the loudest part of your song won't go over a set amount. In this case, that's just below 0 dB. Now I have a mix that should play at a pretty standard volume compared to other CDs.